I promise you do not want to miss this video. Today we are discussing how to use diamond burrs with wood carving. Hey friends, welcome back. I got a really cool video today. I want to teach you about diamond burrs and how they relate to wood carving. So today's going to be really fun and we're going to learn a lot. Diamond burrs are mainly used in many applications such as masonry, rock carving, glass engraving, but they are also used in wood carving. So what makes diamond burrs so different than other traditional burrs such as a tungsten carbide burr? Well, you see traditional burrs usually have a sharp cutting edge like carbide burrs, but diamond burrs have actual grit. Now, what does this mean? This means that the diamond burrs actually grind the wood instead of cutting the wood like the traditional carbide burrs. Now, think of it like this. Carbide burrs produce tiny wood chips, while diamond burrs produce wood dust. Now what does this tell us? This means that diamond burrs aren't that great for heavy stock removal in most cases, but great for finishing and polishing. Okay, you know how I said earlier that diamond burrs aren't great for removing stock? Well, I've already removed a lot of the stock right here on this penguin. You've probably seen this before in my other tutorials here. Uh, this is just like a practice piece. I've already removed a lot of stock, but if I use a diamond burr and do that, that's not going to be that beneficial for that because it's really just this is a finer grit now quick note you can get different grits on these diamond burrs so what do i want to do with this i want to get into my areas that i can't get into with sandpaper but let me show you how i do this i can go just right in here and just kind of get the areas right there and sand them down because there's some nasty areas right there Okay, I probably need to go back over that, but you can just see for the sake of the camera, I was able to get off in here in the fine detail areas and just lightly just sand all that out and make it nice and smooth. And I got in between the toes right here and everything. Now, if I brought sandpaper up here, I wouldn't be able to do that. That would just, just round off everything. Now, I can get in there, but it's not gonna be as effective right there. Okay, you can see all the burrs I have right here. You don't have to be limited just to one. If I would have took this pointed one you just seen me use a while ago and go in there, that would probably begin to start poking holes in there. I want to take one like this and just do the same thing, use the same example I just showed, just going through there and just lightly round everything out and carve everything and get everything nice and smooth. I may even go over a larger area with this right here and get some of my bigger scratches out that I've caused by this burr right here. I'm going to show you something else right here. Now you've probably noticed this piece in another video I keep it for um, teaching with and everything. I haven't finished it up yet. But you notice how I said earlier that just burrs were good at sanding when it comes to wood. You can remove a good amount of stock with them depending on the grit you have. Now I have one right here that I use. You can see that it's just flat right there. Now what I'll do with this, like when I begin like to make my lines and stuff, what I actually do instead of using a carbide burr, I'll go through here and you see the lines I've made right here? I've just went right through and I need to straighten these up. I'm gonna try to do this while standing up for the camera. So what I'm saying here, these diamond burrs can remove a little bit of stock, but you don't wanna get crazy. So I'm gonna go through here again, just give you an example. You can already see I'm straightening some of my lines up there. I still have a little bit left to straighten up, but I don't want to do this with a carbide burr because a carbide burr would just start tearing everything. I need this to just kind of grind it instead of tearing. When you start tearing wood with a, with a double cut burr like this, it just starts splitting. So just kind of experiment with these burrs and see what they're good for. This is just one of the many ways I use mine. There's obviously a lot more you can do with these, but number one, sanding, and number two, just light stock removal in some areas is the way I specifically use all these diamond burrs. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button below and the like button, and leave me a comment. I would love to know what projects you guys are working on. I will see you next time.